Welcome to The Open Word, an online ministry of Boone Open Bible Church. Thank you for joining us. On today's program, we bring you Upfront and Practical, featuring Paul Becker from OBC. And now, here's Paul. Growing up, my mom used to tell me and my sister, if we complained about what we were going to have for supper or dinner, or whatever she was just cooking, uh, she'd always just tell us it's because uh, we were hungry. We would complain and say, "Not, we're not hungry. We don't like that. Uh, but my mom always used to use the words of, there's starving kids in Africa. And I'm sure there are. But she also said that when you're hungry enough, you'll come and eat. And little did I know that my mom's words really rang true. Uh, there's people that are truly hungry. Uh, they aren't picky, they just need food. And that's the way it is with our own preferences, keeping them to pursue nutrition, substance, and satisfy the body's needs. It is the same way with Christians, just wanting appetizers. They only want to nibble on spiritual food. If someone's tried to live like that, you know, the, in the physical realm, uh, they would soon be dead if, if it was food. And it wouldn't be healthy, and it wouldn't be consistent with nourishment. When Jesus spoke of hungering and thirsting and for righteousness, uh, for God, he's talking about it being an ongoing priority. He is not talking about a verse a day that keeps us going and keeps the devil away. Uh, he's not saying that uh, it's about a podcast. Uh, he's, he's talking about consistency. Uh, he always puts the drive in how we should hunger and pursue God. Our consumption for food should be the same spiritually and that a person needs to have spiritual food as well. When Jesus speaks of hungering and thirsting for righteousness, he speaks to those who remove all the distractions and excesses in life and contributes to their own pursuit of God. They don't browse multiple menus throughout the day. They look and long for God. It is His righteousness that they seek and that it contains nutrients for your and my spiritual growth. I'd like to raise a couple of questions before we close. Are you hungering after who you are and who are you thirsting after? Who are you pursuing? Don't settle for just appetizers. Settle for God's true word. For Upfront and Practical, I'm Paul Becker. I'll see you next time.